this is David. Today I want to show you a tool that I use a lot when I'm writing my blog posts. Uh, I use this tool right here. Um, it's called Open Live Writer. It used to be called Live Writer. It's been through several iterations. That's a tool that I use for editing my blog posts and publishing them to my blog. And my blog, if you haven't seen it before, it's up here at davidgr.com. It's probably the coolest site on the interwebs. And I'm not just saying that right there. But um, this used to have a, t a plugin that would allow me to insert formatted code. And what I mean by that is that uh, if I take code like this C sharp code here and copy it and then paste it into Open Live Writer, it looks awful. What I wanted to do is to look kind of like this where the, everything is color-coded so the strings are one color, keywords are another, and so on. Uh, but that doesn't happen. In fact, it doesn't even do the carriage returns right. right. If I, even if I do in the source right here, then at least the carriage returns look okay, but that's only in source. HTML doesn't respect carriage returns. So really what I want to do is to paste something with some CSS styles that makes it look good. Makes it look kind of like this. And I found a tool online for doing that. It's right here. It's at h i l i t e dot m e. Highlight me, and what you can do is paste some code into here. You'll see an example right here. Print hello world came out with like that with some f formatting, and there's the style sheet or the, or the HTML and the CSS. Um, but if I paste my code in here, like this, and I select down here under the language, this was C sharp like that. There's some other options here. I always just leave this at colorful. That's fine. I don't like to put line numbers in because it makes it harder makes it harder for people to copy and paste from that. So the other ones I just leave as the default and I click highlight right here and what happens is this is what it'll end up looking like and this is the HTML and the CSS. I can copy this paste it into my source. Maybe I'll put a paragraph above it and below it to set it off. Here is my code. Listing one. Like there. And paste that in. And then what I'll see is something like this. There's the nice scroll bar in here. Fonts are nice, colors are nice, everything is in there. And if you look closely at it, you'll actually see all of the styles that are in line added here. So I don't, this is nice for my blog because I don't have to add a style sheet, which is kind of hard to do when each page is its own thing. And this works not only for C sharp, but for all these other languages here. So I do a lot of work in JavaScript. So if I come over to here, here's some JavaScript. If I grab this snippet right here and copy it then I can paste it into here delete what was there replace it with this change the language to JavaScript and highlight it and then copy and paste that some Java script listing 2 and right above that is where on the source tab right in here is where I want to put my HTML and so that comes out and it understands what the keywords are in JavaScript and which ones to highlight there it even works on JSON which is kinda of, sort of a language really more of a data format than a language. And I have an example here. So here's some JSON. And if I grab all of that and copy it and paste it into here, change this to JSON and highlight it. Now I have something that looks pretty good. I have to do it in the source tab right there. And you can see it looks like that. If I click on the preview tab, I get a little bit better idea of what it's going to look like inside 
of the browser when it's finally published. So it doesn't really matter what language you're using in it. You can see right here, there are all these different languages that are available to you, even HTML if you wanted to format it. This, then you could use that. So this is a tool that I use quite a bit, highlight.me. I use it in conjunction with Open Live Writer, and it helps me to make prettier formatted code for the technical blog posts that I do without adding a lot of effort on my part. This is David. Thank you for watching.